The genocidal La Republic de Cameroon military have again wasted one Ambazonian life. They have killed a young man in Cuba and dumped the cops on the streets. La Republic de Cameroon's mission to Ambazonia is to kill, steal, and destroy. It is incumbent for the people of Ambazonia to support every move towards Austin La Republic de Cameroon from Ambazonia. Now, the death of an unidentified young man in Fiango, Kumba, has been blamed on members of La Republic's elite military force, the BIR, again. BIR members stormed the neighborhood on September 1st amid rumors of an impending Ambazonian fighters lockdown. A Fianga resident told MMI that the young man was tagged as an Amazonian fighter before he was killed and his body dumped at Three Corners Fiango. The colonial military visited the area after rumors circulated about a looming lockdown in prelude to school resumptions on September 4th. Now, a resident said due to the upcoming ghost town, the La Republic military just kill anybody they suspect without any concrete evidence. He also stated that the young man who was killed had been living a normal life in the neighborhood like any other civilian. Well, MMI spoke with senior journalist Gideon, full name withheld for security reasons, who is based in Kumba about the said incidents. And he confirmed a body was found that money, but said people were still confused as to who killed the young man. He said residents woke up to the cops and many were unaware of who had killed him. A corpse was discovered in the morning, three corners roundabout, but before he could leave town, the exact killers weren't known. Well, he added that he was unsure where he, whether he is a civilian or an amber fighter. Two days before this young man was killed at Fiango, La Republic Gendarmerie officers in Mabanda, Kumba 3 local government area, were reported to have killed another man after associating him with the Ambazonian armed struggle. La Republic's government propagandists alleged that the man whom they identified as Sakwe Samuel was commanding an Ambazonian armed group at um, a Diki Mbonge in Konya local government area and that La Republic gendarmes hunted him down for killing a pregnant woman. Usually, these propaganda platforms quickly tag those killed by soldiers as Amber said Fendi, a Kumba resident. He says they are tagged as separatist fighters as well. Similarly, they usually seek to justify the killing of their victims by tagging them as blacklegs. Several cases of such, summary killings um, by seemingly La Republic to Cameroon have been rampant in villages and towns in Ambazonia since the ongoing armed conflict started in 2017. Well, the most recent of this human rights violation in Kumba being a student killed early this morning. The sad news that got to Undaunted at um, confirms and affirms that colonial La Republic occupier forces have been spraying bullets in Kumba local government area. This military occupation has been spraying bullets in Kumba since last night until the time we got this report. Eyewitness accounts say a stray bullet just killed a young lady with the name Ajak Hilda, a Form 3 student of Colonial La Republic Government High School, Kake, in Kumba local government area just this morning. The bullet perforated their plank building, commonly called Kalabut, and tore open her stomach, leading to her untimely death. It is reported that Colonial La Republic de Cameroon occupier forces orchestrated sporadic shootings around Mawon Kumba local government area over the night till this early morning. This is a reason why the Ambazonian People's Interim Government, led by the incorruptible and resilient President of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, Dr. Sako reiterated again and again the necessity for a conducive study environment for people, students, teachers and parents. Now the genocidal La Republic military continues its scorched earth policy, yet say normalcy has returned. Quite paradoxical. What a blatant lie.